Hello guys, it's um, Lloyd from Magic Visual here and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to bypass uh, Windows 8 product key uh, while you're installing. To do this you'll need an ISO file, you will need a copy of WinRAR and you'll need a memory stick or a USB or pen drive, whatever you want to call it, it's at least 4GB in size. So to start off we'll get the image file. So if you want to go to Google and type in MSDN, which will bring you up to Microsoft Developer Network. Once you're on the Microsoft Developer Network website, go down to Downloads at the top. Client Development Windows 8. And here it will show you and it will prompt you to buy Windows 8 with this button here, this nice shiny button. Um, you can do this if you want to spend money, but if you just want to do this to try it out and see if it works first, you'll click on um, what's in blue here, which is Evaluation Center. This will bring you to the Evaluation Center for Windows 8. And basically, this page is offering you a copy of Windows 8, which is an Enterprise Edition, which is an Enterprise Evaluation. This means you'll get 90 days worth of development or trying it out in our case. It tells you here about the evaluation and what languages it's in. Um, if you scroll down, you have system requirements, and as you should know by now, it'll require 1 gig or 2 gig on 64 bit, 16 gig or 20 gig on 64 bit, or 32 bit, whatever. Um, don't need to worry about that. And soon you'll be down at the bottom, and you'll click either one of these two get started buttons which will go for 32 bit. Now it'll prompt you to log in with your Microsoft account if you haven't got one they're free. Um, but I'm not for the purpose of this demonstration I've already downloaded an ISA which is professional edition so I won't need to log in or download it. But what will happen is, is you'll log in, it'll prompt you to download it and it'll give you a key for the evaluation copy. So the next part is you can close that once you've downloaded your ISO, once you've found your ISO, which this is mine here, um, which will just double click to display it in Nero in the general fashion of being burnt. But for this demonstration, you won't need a DVD, just a memory stick. So exit out of that. Um, next thing you'll need to do is you'll need a program like WinRAR or 7zip, which I'll provide a link to in the description, and you'll want to go down to Extract files, run, and choose your designated file files which you want to put it all in. Which mine I've just called eight, which is on my desktop as you can see. I've already done this, so I don't need to extract it. So here's my folder. And in this, you'll have just to make sure you'll have four folders. At, well, yeah, four folders and four files. The main files which we're focusing on today is the sources folder and we'll only be needing to add one thing to this. So the next thing you want to do is open up a notepad, you know, a blank notepad, and you'll want to paste the following which is in the description below. Basically this means edition ID is the title of the one which you want to install, which corresponds to the copy you've downloaded. And under that you'll put the copy which you want, obviously. Uh, channel, you don't need to worry about that, and retail is do you want a volume license, which you'll just keep as zero because you don't want to put a product key in. So once you've pasted this in basically, you'll go to file, save as, and just cancel that. You will want to locate your extractive files which are in my 8 folder and navigate to sources. Once you're in sources you want to re well you want to select the file type as all and you will want to save this as lowercase e lowercase i dot c f g and press save. So I'll just check it's there. Sources and then you'll search E. Oops. 
AI CFJ, which again you can have that back up and it's what I've put in. So that's the only modification you need to make to that now. So once you've done that, um, you will burn those following folders and files to a memory stick, um, which I've already done. And now we'll switch over to the camera um, to see how it's done on our machine. So as you can see now, I have um, burnt or placed all the image all the image file onto an SD card. This is a SanDisk SDHC 16 gigabytes, and it's a class four. You will grab it and put it into your computer. And just to prove to you that everything's on there, I'll show you. There it is. Look. And you have all of those files on add sources and scroll down to that the E and it's there look. You can see. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll I'll come back to you and I'll turn the computer off now and come back to you basically. So now then, turn the computer on and press and hold your boot button, which is mine is F12, as you can see. So you press and hold that, you'll hear it going a bit. See? Now once you've done that, you'll come to your boot device menu. Now for mine, you go down to hard disk, press enter, and since I'm using a card, it'll be that one, the top one, the USB. So I'll click enter. Take some time to load into it. There's the Windows. What the new Windows logo? And as I said, it'll take a bit of time because it's not a USB stick. And I'll come back once this is done. So it's gone past that um, black screen there, and we come up to the language selection. I'm in the UK, so I'll change my time currency format to UK, and the keyboard should do automatically. And now, once you press next, it'll normally prompt you for a product key. And if I've done this right, you won't need one. It's all now, and it should just come with the user agreement after this. Just give it a couple of seconds. And there you go. The user agree agreement, Windows 8 Pro. And you just press I accept and next. So there we go. Um, it's worked, so I'll exit out of it now. And yes, I want to quit. And yep. now, after this video, I'm going to I'll show you how to make your USB stick, memory stick, whatever um, bootable through command prompt. Um, this is the easiest way to do it possible. So, see you in a bit.